everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. So in this video let's start with an update button of uh, employee portal application. So here uh, before I start with uh, updates let me revert back the data original because I mean uh, I want to start the node.js server back again. So back to node.js server let me restart okay npm start so if it is restarted what happens is you get the default to employees data fine so now thing is when i click on this update button i want to open up a model with this data so let's create a model once using uh, bootstrap so here in html create a model so how to create a model is uh, same like this add employee model I need to create the update employee model so let me copy the entire add employee model and let's paste it okay so here let's take update employee model so this is gonna be the update employee model and uh, this is update employee model and bg secondary and uh, I need to have an animation so slide in from right that's from left and this one right and uh, form this is update employee form and IDs so update first name update last name update email update gender update IP address and this is gonna be the update employee and the button is PTN minus secondary and one extra uh, extra element what I want to add is the ID as well okay so update uh, EMP minus ID so I tell you why I'm writing this ID also uh, this is the uh, employee ID okay fine so we have a model but when to display this model is when I click on this particular button so let's make a click event on this button and open up the model with our own data so what I do is and I click on update button so where is update button click is here in the uh, table body here update button so update button also I need to fetch an ID because if you want to get this data instead of getting data from here let me fetch this data from uh, the server okay but uh, to fetch data we need to have an ID so how to get ID you get an ID here okay so you get the ID so let me get all the employees from that I need to fetch the particular object um, how to do that is so let HTTP is equal to new brain HTTP so let URL is equal to a backtick let's make dollar server URL slash employees I need to fetch all the employees once uh, so uh, we do http dot get the URL and the callback this callback is having a error and employees okay so if any error uh, just throw the error and then uh, employees so I got all the employees but I need to pick up only the particular employee with this ID so what you do is you can filter out uh, employees let's do like this let's selected employee is equal to all the employees dot there's a function called find find pick up uh, only single employee with the condition uh, here uh, I just looping okay employee so for every employee iteration uh, whose employee ID match with my selected ID okay so I write return employee dot ID is is equal to my selected ID dot trim 
okay so i'm just making a, a trim of uh, this one it removes extra spaces before and out after uh fine so let's make a console.log selected employee okay so let's check uh, what exactly that employee object is coming on a console when i click on the update button uh, back to here open uh, inspect console yeah here when i click on first person john see exactly that person object has come when i click on update of lara i got the lara object fine but uh, this data i want to populate on the model okay so let me do that let me do one thing let's populate the model so populate update model with selected employee but this function is not there so let's create let populate model is equal to one arrow function and you will get the selected employee object so we have to populate the model means uh, in the value attributes i need to attach the data so update id first name last name everything i want to attach so how to attach you can say document dot query selector of hash update um, employee id right emp id employee id uh, dot value is going to be the selected employee dot id okay so like this you have to update all update uh, first uh, underscore i think first minus name right id is first name yeah uh, this is first actually underscore name from the object next uh, this is uh, last name this is last underscore name this is gonna be the email value is email and uh, this is uh, gender value is gender lastly uh, ip address is gonna be the ip underscore address so fine so we made it but i want to show up i want to display the model right so how to display the model actually how we hide the model we made it now yeah like this this is for hiding the model of course the model to show up the model same story uh make it uh it's not add employee model it is update employee model right update employee model dot show so this is to show the model okay so let's check now uh back here so john wilson when i click on update model uh, it's not working let me check once console you got error cannot set property value of null uh abroad js line number 100 something went wrong oh it is minus okay not underscore fine let's check once uh see i think it's a refresh huh? yeah so click on update for john wilson yes i got a model so this data has come here now when i click on this laura wilson i got the laura wilson's id and complete details in the model but thing is if you give a model like this id also people can modify but uh, if you modify the id and it won't work properly uh, with the server backend right so i don't want to display this so let's me hide the id field uh, that's very simple you can make it uh, uh, hidden okay if i write a hidden field so what happens you get uh, only john okay so no other uh, fields okay fine and then uh, what you do actually some space is coming over right i think you can delete the form group so yeah looks good okay so actually just i just need to hide hide okay 
employee ID. So now see John Wilson everything and I can modify everything and click on update. So when I click on update, it has to update the form data using a put request. So assume I fill in some details and click on update. Let me do a form submission with this model. So for form submission of that model uh, is update employee form. Uh, let me copy this. So here update form submission. So let's update form uh, is equal to okay update uh, employee form okay is equal to so let's make document dot query selector of hash update form and uh, update employee form dot add event listener of submit events comma one function okay so here what do you do uh, i want to stop automatic form submission so let's take a dot prevent default and let me close the model also so i just make it uh, hide to close the model and then uh, so same like add employee where we have done um, yeah here let me get the employee object and then post it and all this so let me uh, copy everything here copy this thing the every uh, uh, code here let me paste it here so now employee how to get the employee id is different right what is id update 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 yeah, okay let's modify this is update 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 done and url so url actually you need to provide the id so employee slash what is id id is going to be um actually how to get the id yeah uh, we have id right the this one update employee id dot value this this id so let me get that uh anyway we have already substituted the id we have seen that right so that id i want so you can do here let employee id um is equal to watch document dot query selector the result row hash this one dot value dot trim okay i just want to trim it okay fine i got the employee id also let me copy this and uh, provide it here okay that employee id i want to uh this one slash id is here fine url brain http fine and uh, it's not post request is gonna be the put request update then uh, after put is done console log fetch and then clear the form fields actually this is not required because for update its own data will come so that's not required just fetch data back on the page okay looks good um fine so our source code is finished so let me test the application now back here okay when page loads get all the data this is the final testing uh, now here when i click on add uh, me refresh once yeah application ready so add employee so i just add a new employee let's make naveen sagam uh, naveen at gmail.com mail uh, some 56 dot 35 dot something dot something add so without page refresh employee has been added fine and i want to update so john wilson i want to update the email so what you do click on update so john underscore wilson and i click on update so without page refresh it is updated at server side you want to see that you can check the server log c get to put everything is updated at server side okay and you also get uh, a console logs i think uh, uh, here see first one is post request is done and put request is done for updates 
like that and you can even delete it so Laura Wilson I want delete I click on delete Laura Wilson has gone let me create a new employee um, Rajan is not there yeah let's make a Rajan Jane so Rajan H gmail.com mail yeah, 45 dot something dot something dot something add so new employee called Rajan has added uh, you wanna update the Rajan's uh, um, uh, this thing uh, IP address click on update I modify this to 255.255.255.255 click on update so it is updated at the server side you can check now it is put request received at server side okay fine uh, this how you will make it and I just delete my record now delete so this is actually a complete employee portal application with Ajax okay so that's it and only update is like complex and please practice on this so enough for this video and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you